We'll be visiting a ground where we've traditionally struggled. It's been a long time since we won at Rhea Thorpe, so we'll be looking to put an end to this poor run. And what better time to do this than right now? Felipe spent time at the club and we're still in touch, so it was sad to hear the news about his injury, but the news was obviously much worse for him. He has a bright future ahead of him. He was playing well for Depor and he was one of their key players. We're not happy that he's injured, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Until then, he'll be sorely missed. Cristiano is a great player and an important part of the Real Madrid side. The news is a real blow, as we'd like to have had Cristiano playing alongside us. We feel the suspension is unfair, as the clash was unintended. Barcelona are playing well, and unfortunately for their rivals, they make very few mistakes. Hopefully those sporting will put a five-star display to take all three points. Let's hope that we also come away with a win, so that we close the gap at the top. Both clubs are on a good run and they both have match-winning players. You never know in these types of games who will win. There's very little to choose between the two sides and it's not easy to predict a winner. It would be good that the game ends a draw so that everyone goes home happy. Sevilla are playing at the Sanchez Pith one and they'll be buoyed by the home support. And that could just tilt the balance Sevilla's way. Puedan conseguir mejor la victoria. After a defeat, a side always tries to bounce back with a win. Jerez will give their all, but again, this is going to be a difficult game to predict. Getafe, regardless of who plays for them, have always given 100%. They're a local side from Madrid, very determined, and a side who never rolls over. We'd like them to do well, especially me, as I have friends who play for them. Athletic have been playing well of late and they have several players with a strong physical presence and that are capable of winning matches. As for Espanyol, they're at home and the fact that they're struggling in the league means that they need the points.